Hey there, welcome to my October after the pen. This time I decided to make a chattier video because there's so much that happened during October. I live in Mexico in the Yucatan Peninsula and we've been in hurricane season since June. But October has been the craziest. And I wish you would know how much the bullet journal has helped me not only to organize myself between this stressing situation, but also because I incorporated a little autumn challenge that allowed me to stop stressing and take some time for myself. So to start, I wanted to show you what I did here at the back of the journal. It's always important for us who live in disaster prone areas to have a go back. And I decided to make a spread of what I had in it. Not only to know what I had, what I need to buy, but also to write down the expiration dates of things that had to be changed eventually. So I found this spread to be really helpful and it's something that I'll be incorporating and checking back on it for the rest of my life. <laughs> you never know, you have to always be ready. So, moving on to the actual monthly. This phrase, I could not have chosen a better phrase for this month because the pandemic has already forced us to let go of many things we were used to. But now, humidity and mold have shown me how important it is to have a minimal practical life. I'm in the process of minimizing the things I own and to be honest, my life is better. I have less things to stress about and more time for myself. So yeah, letting go is never easy but there's beauty in it and you find it afterwards when you prioritize and learn which things do require your time and attention. So moving on to my habit tracker. Well, my habit tracker, as usual, just shows how bad I'm doing at certain things. <laughs> like not eating wheat and not waking up early. But that's what the tracker is all about. It shows you where you need to be doing a bigger effort. So there's always room for improvement. Moving on to my gratitude and mood tracker, I really like how it turned out. I was surprised to see how many days were blue. Like this week I was happy every single day. How did that happen? Of course the orange days were where we had hurricanes and lots of rain and stuff. So I always find things to write down of things that I enjoy and that make me happy. So it's a very positive exercise you can add to your journal so that you can see there's always a positive thing throughout your day. You will notice that I incorporated these stickers that are part of an autumn challenge. I will link the stickers below. But I really enjoyed it this month because amid all the stress, I really took the time to do a little something for myself and that really did help. Though in this case, enjoy rainy days, little did I know that rain would stress me afterwards. <laughs> but you know, after the storms and especially when there's a sunset and there's a little bit of rain, I think that's the best part of the day because it's just really soothing and calming. But anyway, this challenge was the highlight of my month, I can say and moving to the first week that's when we had the first hurricane so tuesday i stressed a lot wednesday i napped and at least i have my fall scented candle and a hot cocoa to ease the stress after that long day and sunday i had tea and biscuits and as you can see this week seems kind of empty because the hurricane really overtook most of my time. After it was over, there was cleaning and drying and removing mold. So yeah, it was almost like a death week 
when it comes to productivity until Friday. Also, you will notice that this layout I included all the hours of the day and I color blocked my tasks. But I realized there were some blocks of hours, especially from 12 to 6, sorry, to 4, where I just don't need to be logging them. So for my next week, what I did is I just wrote down from 8 to 11, then a break and 5 to 9 p.m. And those are the hours I usually have to write things down, uh, some appointments and stuff. And that's why I've been finding this layout to be the most helpful. This week looks a lot more busy. I continue to color code my tasks and the highlight of this week was this pie. I made a sweet potato pie. You will see the recipe afterwards, but it's hands down the best pie I've ever made. So that was the second week where I also added a vitamin tracker, which came really handy. But anyway, let's move on to the next weekly, which I loved. Once again, I used my schedule layout with my color, color tasks and vitamin tracker. I added this craft paper just because I'm obsessed with how it looks with white gel pen. And for this week, I added this word, Fika, which is Swedish and means a moment to slow down and appreciate the good things in life, which is exactly what my little autumn challenge had been doing for me. So it was the perfect word with an autumn wreath to add and finish this layout. Now, for the last week, Again, I did my schedule and color code and this is where we have the second hurricane. So again, Tuesday, I tried to prepare, although I was a lot more laid back because it was not as strong as the first one. And then on Wednesday, I just napped. Like, after such stressful days, the next day I'm like exhausted. And then on Thursday, I got to make candy apples for the first time in my life, although a friend brought caramel apples to my attention so I did caramel apples instead and I'm obsessed now. I used a recipe that called for honey and coconut cream and it was just the best thing I've had in a while. <laughs> well, next to that pie, I don't know which is my favorite, but both are very, very good. Here's the recipe for that sweet potato pie. I'm gonna make a better picture of it and you can screenshot it if you want to try it but trust me if you do it's going to be the best plant-based and gluten-free pie you've ever had last but not least i made my own ink tubber for the month and i knew i wanted to make something funny something comical whimsy and even childish because I really needed that uh, in my life. <laughs> and to wake up every morning and think of a little mouse that is doing something funny or reckless or cute really put me in the right mood. And amid all the stress, I really got to draw every single day. And I was really happy with the end result. Of course, I enjoyed this a lot and as I've mentioned some time before, I'm really looking forward to incorporate these little doodle challenges every single month because it's part of who I am. I've always enjoyed drawing and I think that doing it every single day has really helped me with my mood and my abilities. So yeah, I can't believe October will be over in two days, but I'm grateful for a new month. Again, we are hoping for the best and there's another cyclone forming as I speak on the Caribbean Sea and my come our way. But these things happen. Just gotta be prepared, keep positive and keep safe. 
So if you want to watch my November set up, that's already uploaded in my YouTube channel, I will link it below. But I really hope that you enjoyed the video, that I gave you some ideas. And let me know if you like chatty videos like this. I had a lot to say about October. And I really wanted to share how the bullet journal has helped me during these stressful times. So it might also help you. Subscribe if you want to continue following my bullet journal journey. I hope you stay safe, have a very beautiful November, and thanks a lot for watching.